Hey everybody and thanks for joining me. I'm Diana Vance. Today we're going to be talking about how to have a successful home business. Now there's a lot of facets that go into having a successful business and today on this video we're going to be talking about how to organize your day. Okay? So, why don't we begin? So, today we're going to be talking about how to organize your day. Now, I'm not going to get through every single category <laughs> of organizing your day. My son helps me with these things, that's why. Um, they're a little childish, but I think it's fun, so I'm okay with it. Now, in order to start your day, you need to know exactly what your day involves. Who distracts you, what things you need to do to build your business, who you need to be talking to, what kind of activities that you're going to be doing. Now being that you're an at-home mom or a stay-at-home mom, there's things that are going to affect you differently than, the, than would another person without children. So to start off, we need to make sure that we have everything that we need, that we're looking at and focusing in on the categories that we need to. So obviously, first things first, we want to focus in on our business. Okay? So that's a header. We have children, and no matter what, we have to focus on them. And if you're lucky enough, you have a husband, Some people might say that that's not lucky, but who knows. <laughs> and of course, again, as a stay-at-home mom, you know, just because we're not out in the field or at a 9-to-5 office job doesn't mean that we skip out on our household duties, okay? So regardless of if you're the breadwinner in the family with this company or not, the home responsibilities, the cleaning, the cooking, things like that, still fall on your shoulders. So we definitely want to make sure that we have time in our day to make sure that we're taking care of the home. And then finally, we also, uh, definitely, this is one of the more important things that we need to focus on, is our health. Okay? And I just want to speak on this point for one minute before we continue. Health does not mean being skinny, okay? Health means eating right, having a strong body, having a strong mind, having a strong spiritual connection to whoever you believe to be the Almighty. Because without a healthy mind and a healthy body, none of these other areas are going to prosper. Okay? Now, just so that you know, for me, Jesus Christ reigns over all of this in my life. Okay? So, I don't have him or God as a separate category because he needs to be with me in every single one of these categories okay I hope that makes sense for you and I think it might because I'm gonna I'm gonna actually explain further as we go so now we know we have five different categories of areas that we need to focus on as stay-at-home moms I'm gonna just dive into one today and then if you're interested, follow my series. You can see how I work out the other ones. And it all comes together like a puzzle to fit perfectly into your schedule, the hours that you allot for yourself. Now, there are... Twenty-four hours a day in one day. 
We all have the same amount of hours, right? So let's say you get seven hours of sleep. And that's standard, seven to eight to nine hours. I mean, if you're getting nine hours of sleep, you are wasting time. It, you're just, it's ridiculous, okay? Millionaires and, and billionaires, they get up five in the morning, they get five hours of sleep, they're, you know, they're up at it going, okay? So let's just say you're an average person and you get seven hours of sleep. So if you deduct the seven hours from the 24, you're going to have 17 hours left. I know you think it's funny that I'm looking at these notes, but I have to because math is not my forte. So, I don't want to give you the wrong information and mess up your, your schedule, so that's why I have to take some notes right here. So, you have 17 hours left in the day. Now, you want, if you are serious about building this business, and I think you are because if you weren't, you wouldn't be watching this video. So, if you are serious about building your business, you have to give at least 10 hours a day focus on your business. And I'm not just saying cold calling for 10 hours a day or networking for 10 hours a day. It's a combination of a variety of different activities that build your business. And we're gonna go into that in another video. Okay, I'll be more than happy to share what you need to do to actually build your business and the things you need to focus on in your business. But for right now, We're going to say we're giving our business 10 hours a day, right? So if we're going to deduct the 10 hours right from business, so I'm going to actually take this away. We're not even focusing on business because we have 10 hours set right there. Thanks. That's my assistant, Chase. He's my son. He helps me, and this is part of our um, mother-son time because he enjoys doing this as well. And he has his own series on Chase's Toy Corner that where he sells his toys, goes over toys, explains what kind of toys he has. So if you're interested in that, uh, check out his YouTube series on Chase's Toy Corner. And also, we also have a um, mother and son channel that we do together called Chase and Mommy's Treasures where we sell little knickknacks and things we find in, in various locations. So anyway, back to it. I'm going to take out the 10 hours for business because I want to focus in on that specifically in the next video. So we have seven hours of time left in our day. So today we're going to talk about how we are going to divide the seven hours into these four categories, okay? Now today I want to talk about health because I think it's extremely important to talk about health. So, I created this cute little game to, to kind of give you an out on how often you exercise or how often you do certain things. So, we're going to talk about exercising because that's normally what people think about when we talk about health. But like I said, health could be your... The, the time that you're eating a healthy meal, exercising, spiritualizing, praying, what have you. Okay, so what I did was I created these time frames. We have a two hour time frame one hour, half an hour, and 15 minutes. I probably should have put that in order, but it doesn't really matter. So these are the time frames that we're going to be working with, okay? So, with health, this whole thing equals seven. So I'm going to give my health one hour because that allows me to exercise for 30 minutes. It helps me to eat for two 15-minute slots to give me an hour. It helps. It allows me to exercise for 15 minutes, pray for 30 minutes, and eat for 15 minutes. So what I'm trying to say is that you can utilize this hour in whatever increments 
of either a whole 30, I mean two 30 minutes, one full hour, or four 15 minutes. So it's up to you, and we can break that down a little bit more later on. So for me, I am not exercising for an hour, so eh, that's out of here. Uh, I'm probably barely even going to exercise for 30 minutes because exercise blows and I'm going to do as little as possible of it as I can get away with. So I'm going to go with 15 minutes of exercising, okay? Um, now that's me. Now there's a game that is going to challenge you that you have to pick up one of the random cards and that's exactly how long you have to exercise for, whether it is um, for an hour, two hours, or what have you, that's the time that you're, not two hours, because you're only giving yourself an hour. So, I'm going to get into the game at another time. So let's say we're exercising for 15 minutes, I'm going to uh, meditate and pray for 30 minutes. And then I'm going to take the other 15 to eat a healthy meal. Okay, so I need another 15 down here. So so, and that's to eat. Okay, so again, we're exercising for 30, 15 minutes, praying or meditating for 30 minutes, and 15 minutes on the eating healthy. So... If you see how that works, that's how you're going to do it for everything else. But what's great about this is let's say now you have to worry about your home. Now if you break down each category to one to two hours. So for the home, I am putting one to two hours. And the home and the hubby, unfortunately, they're intertwined, okay? And that's because we only have seven hours, so this is one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven. I think your child should get the most, but it's up to you. So I put three hours for my kid, okay? And that has to do with, you know, tucking them in, giving them baths, whatever you need to do. So you need to plug in the time. So... For the home, nobody likes house cleaning, nobody likes doing laundry, nobody likes vacuuming, nobody likes doing any of it. But, as a stay-at-home mom, it's a necessary evil. So, what I decided to do is, first off, we're done with health, so we're going to just take that down. So now, it's time to figure out how much time in the day we're going to use we need to worry about housework. So depending on what card we pick from the time pile, let's say uh, we pick the hour. Eesh. You gotta do something around the house for an hour. You have to clean it. But that's okay because we are going to have a pile on the, you know, I wasn't for this and how to just do this on the fly. But anyway, so then we have our chore pile. This is actually okay. This is our exercise um, selection. So I'm not going to go into that, but you can also where are hers? Okay, here we are. Yellow. I have to do a better job with color coding it. And I'm going to be putting a game together that you could just purchase. So this is just dry run. So anyway, so I have an hour to work on something in the house. So I have all the chores I have to do. I have the floors throughout the house. I have to do the laundry. I have to clean the bathrooms. I have to cook. So this is just a number. I don't have, you know, you need to put dusting in there, things like that. So I'm going to just shuffle these cards, and this is a fun activity you can do with your child in the beginning of the day while you're eating that healthy breakfast to start the day off after you've exercised, okay? So number one in the day that you're going to do is you're going to focus on your health. 
So that's the first thing you're doing in the day, okay? Number two, two, three, four, and five, they can be random, okay? And I'm going to show you how I've done it today. So next we're going to talk about home. Oh, I got an hour worth of, of housework to do. So let's see, what am I going to do first? Oh, goodness. Cook. Okay, cooking normally takes about a half an hour. So that's good. Throw something in the crock pot first thing in the morning. By the time the day is over, you have food on the table. So we're going to do cooking for a half an hour. And then we pick another card and let's see what we got to do. I hate doing this. Yeah. Ah, bathrooms. I actually got this one today and I didn't. I did them earlier. So, 30 minutes on the bathroom. So, you're really only doing two things, but guess what? Your bathrooms are now clean before noon. Depending, well, depending on what time you wake up. So, the bathrooms, most people have two, two and a half baths. Thank God I only have two. Um, but it actually took me half an hour to clean one. So, don't, kill, don't, don't like, kill yourself. Um, clean one bathroom, if it takes you half an hour to clean one bathroom, guess what? You're done. You, you got one bathroom done. Don't, you know, your house doesn't need to be perfect. You're trying to run a business here, okay? And no one's going to remember how clean your bathroom was or how clean your house was. They're going to work, they're going to remember what time you spent with your family, what time you're going to remember the time you spent traveling, you know, making money and just rocking life, okay? So let's not really worry about too much on the bathrooms. So however long it takes you to do that. So now, you've used an hour, you've used two hours. So far, you've exercised, eaten healthy, had some prayer time, cooked your meal for the day, and did a chore of cleaning one or all of the bathrooms. So, because you picked home second in the game, you know, then that's where we stand. So let me just move these down real quick. So, do you see how this is going right now? See how this is making a schedule for you? So, let's say you woke up at, I normally wake up at 8.30. So, 8.30 to 9.30, I'm doing my eating, exercising, prayer time. Um, 9.30 to 10.30, I was preparing dinner and cleaning the bathroom. So, now it's 10.30. So, now... What we're going to do is we're going to pick out what our next activity is going to be by picking one of the activity cards. So we're going to pick, oh, hubby. Oh, I picked hubby. So now it's hubby's time to have some me time, me and hubby time. Now, when I talk about having hubby time or children time, what you need to understand is that, <laughs> sorry about that is that you need to pay attention to them, 100%. You're not half listening to your husband uh, while you're looking at your emails. You're not half playing a game with your child. No cell phones, no answering calls. You have to devote that whole time. Unless you work for a company that people are constantly calling in because you have to take calls. Because one of the biggest mistakes that people do is they don't pick up their phone and they miss the sale, okay? So, if you're in the middle of doing one of these activities and your phone call comes in and it's not one of your friends, not your mom, not your neighbor, it's actually a sales call, you're going to stop and you're going to take that, okay? So, this is a skeleton, but you need to know where the money is, is on that telephone. Next is number three. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. We have hubby time. So, hubby time is whatever he wants to do, okay? He wants to mow the lawn, you help him mow the lawn. But you got to go through the time selection again. You have to pick a card, how much time he's going to be getting at this moment, at this junction. So let's say, oh, hubby, whoops, you only got 15 minutes. So, that stinks for you. So, you know, use your imagination. What can you do in 15 minutes with your hubby? Anyway, if you're done with your hubby, you really have to pay attention to probably either your business or your kid. Now, I don't want to give you any more going forward because I don't want to overwhelm you. So what I'm going to do is, if you have questions about this particular video and this system, just 
you know, leave a comment below. And if you want to see how I continue the rest of the time, uh, the timeline, and how to actually put all the pieces of the puzzle together in the, then just subscribe to my channel. Continue watching. I'm going to be doing these videos periodically. I hope you're learning something, though, seriously, because it's not easy being a stay-at-home mom who works full-time, okay? Because you have a lot of hats that you juggle, and I know I've been there. I'm going through it right now with the businesses that I'm trying to run, so I'm here for you. So if you have questions, give me a buzz. Um, please subscribe. Tell your friends, family, and neighbors, whoever you know that I might be able to help, that I'm available for help. And again, if you have any questions, give me a buzz. You can contact me at dianavance at gmail.com as well. And I would love to see how you are progressing with your own timeline and time clock. Okay, so make videos, you know, share them below, share them with your friends and family. And we can be accountability partners, okay? Because once you commit to doing this and showing that you're doing it, it's going to give you the confidence to keep on going. Now, like I said earlier, we're going to go deep, deep into the business part of what you're going to be doing day in and day out. But I want you to build a foundation of where we start and where we're going. Okay? You saw my last video, talked about, you know, your whys, why are you doing this, what business you're in, who's your target audience. So, get working. Okay? Have your notebooks, fill them out, keep track. And, you know, report. Let's report. Okay? It's great talking to you guys again. I love being your teacher. Again, if you have any questions, give me a buzz, and I will talk to you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.